Hey everyone, it's Bill Warrell, your Bradenton, Sarasota Realtor, and today I want to address a concern I hear frequently. What's the hurricane situation in the Bradenton, Sarasota area? Now please don't forget to subscribe to this channel for more info on real estate and living the Florida dream. Let's go. Now, I wasn't born and raised in Florida, so I share the same concern. It's one that I hear frequently, and it's understandable as Florida is known as one of the hurricane capitals. My hope in this video is to provide some information in addition to sharing a few things I've learned myself since moving to the area. Hurricane season begins on June 1st of every year and lasts five months, with August and September usually being the peak months. During those months, it's very common for storms to form in the area, and the potential for tropical storms and hurricanes becomes more severe. Now first, let's talk about some terminology that you'd be likely to hear during the hurricane season weather reports. The tropical depression is a tropical cyclone in which maximum speeds would be 38 miles an hour or less. A tropical storm is a little bit more severe and would be a tropical depression with wind speeds between 39 and 73 miles an hour. From there we go to hurricanes, which are tropical cyclones in which wind speeds reach 74 miles an hour or more. Hurricanes are rated on intensity scales and can be seen here based on wind speed. You'll also hear terms like direct hit or landfall. These are often used interchangeably, but it's categorized by when or if the eye of a storm passes over a certain area. Now don't call off any potential move just yet. Let me share this with you. Manatee and Sarasota counties have not had a direct hit since the hurricane of 1921, 100 years ago. The areas usually get brushed by a hurricane every 2.18 years, according to the guys at HurricaneCity.com. If you're a weather nut, that's a good website to check out. Since reliable record keeping began in 1871, the average hurricane wind speed in Manatee County has been 101 miles per hour. This is why over the years, county building codes have changed to account for higher sustained winds. Homes built on or after March 12th are required to be built to sustain 150 mile an hour winds. Homes built between March 2002 and March 2012 were required to sustain 130 mile an hour winds, and homes built before 2002 were built to withstand 110 mile an hour winds. Most home insurance companies require a wind mitigation report from a licensed inspector to confirm this. Because of the hurricane potential here, I've been comforted by the amount of planning and forethought that the local emergency services have devoted to preparedness. In addition to high winds, storm surge is a potential threat as water moves inland and meets already heavy rainfall. The county has assigned evacuation levels, seen here, based on storm surge and also have placed certain areas in evacuation zones. For obvious reasons, living inland is ideal during this time. While many long-term residents tend to laugh off certain weather-related events, it can create unease for those who haven't been through it. The state of Florida offers a one-week tax-free shopping event each year for the purchase of hurricane-related supplies. One of the programs that Manatee County uses is called Manatee Ready. You can text Manatee County to 888-777 to get the latest weather-related updates. One more thing that I learned and I couldn't figure out where to put in this video, but I found to be important nonetheless, is that county rules state emergency services response no longer responds to calls once winds hit 60 miles an hour. That's police, EMS, and fire. It's important to plan ahead as you don't want to be waiting until the last moment to prepare for a severe weather-related event. My philosophy since being here has been if I stock up on bottled water or non-perishable food and don't need it, then that's still money well spent. Here I am six years after moving to Florida and I've seen three hurricanes come through. The most damage I've had was that Irma knocked some of my planters over out front, which had me a little mad. But on a serious note, I don't want to downplay the severity that these events could cause, but I also feel comforted by the plans that have been put in place. Hopefully, I didn't scare you off. If you're thinking of making a move to the area, I encourage you to head over to warrellhomes.com where you can get a free copy of my ultimate home buying and home selling guide, 
as well as a free Manatee County relocation guide that you're welcome to download. Thanks for watching.